Hola amores, this is Kirby Marie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to some more top 10 stuff related to video games. For this video, we'll be talking about the top 10 best games of 2022 so far. For this list, we'll be taking a look at all the games that have come out from January to June of this year and we'll be taking a moment to appreciate these games and how fantastic they are. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get to the list. Number 10, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Dying Light 2 Stay Human is the sequel of Dying Light, but the plot takes place many years later after the first game. This game is yet another zombie game, but it's a different kind of zombie game due to having parkour mixed on the horror genre. This story follows Aiden, a man who is infected but is able to survive with this new sort of cure that helps you from becoming a zombie, and he recalls flashbacks from his past days when he was being experimented on alongside with his sister. And now in this present, he must find his sister and all the answers he seeks from the past while trying to help out different citizens in the city of the undead, and also join alliances and make difficult decisions which could lead to actual consequences, where you won't see either cutscenes or play those parts, so be careful what you choose. You can explore the world on day and night, but it's much more dangerous at night as the zombies become more aggressive and other bigger monsters that don't come on daylight will come at night. You'll be scaling buildings, crafting your own weapons, and be able to glide through the city. The game also has a 4-player co-op if you wish to play with friends. Now unfortunately, the game did end up a bit disappointing, which is why it barely makes it to the list. Number 9. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge This is an arcade-style beat-em-up Ninja Turtles game similar to games like Street of Rage. This story follows the Turtle Brothers, obviously Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo, alongside with April, Casey, and the Master Rat as they simply must beat the forces of evil. This game is big and it's long and it's filled with lots of secrets. It has interesting sense of progression in it and it plays fantastic. It has simple mechanics like dodge, punch, jump, and want to unleash your specials. There is a leveling system in this where you can figure out different ways to do your specials as well in a pretty badass way. It is also one of those rare arcade style games where you feel like you're actually hitting the enemies, not something way too plain and simple. And it is more effective when you're playing with friends. This game has a six player co-op where you can actually play with five other friends. Where you play, obviously, as the Ninja Turtles, April, Casey, and the Master Rat. Isn't that awesome? It really feels like those classic arcade experiences that used to exist back in the day. And I highly recommend you guys to check this one out. Number 8. The Triangle's Tragedy From the creators of Octopath Traveler, we now have The Triangle's Tragedy. And as the title suggests, this is an RPG strategy game. This experience is like the Game of Thrones mixed with Final Fantasy tactics. The story follows Serenoa and his allies as a tragedy strikes the delicate balance between three nations, and Serenoa must make hard decisions that will have actual consequences for the fate of these kingdoms. This game has turn-based battle and events leveling system, and it also has interesting conversations where we as the players must worry about the fate of the kingdom, who will betray you, etc. It's also got an incredible combat system, and for those who like RPG and strategy games, this one is definitely for you. Number 7. Tiny Tina's Wonderland This is a game from the Borderlands franchise that focuses, in this case, on Tiny Tina and her adventures. This is the Dungeons & Dragons versions of the Borderlands. This story follows after Tiny Tina's assault on Dragon Keep, where Tiny Tina is mostly playing a tabletop role-playing game and creates this universe and story where your created character and your party members must try to stop the Dragon Lord. In this game, you'll be exploring randomized territories with random loots. You'll be doing different quests and fighting big monsters. Even after you finish the game, you get to play an endgame type of experience where each time you play, the challenges will be super different. This game also has a 4-player co-op if you ever want to have a fun time with friends. I recommend you give this a chance. I know this looks more bright and colorful than what Borderlands normally is, but it is a surprisingly deep and complex experience that will keep you coming back for more. Number 6. The Quarry A spiritual successor from 2015's Until Dawn, this story follows 9 camp counselors as they try to survive one frightful night set in a deep forest facing supernatural elements and mysterious creatures. It is a frightening story that pays homage to the 80s horror with its aesthetic tropes and humor. 
Supermassive Games had a bit of a rough patch since Until Dawn's success with the Dark Pitches anthologies mostly being a little bit disappointing. Gamers were worried about this game since it was announced a few months before its launch, but luckily the quarry ended up way better than expected. If you like horror movies and decision-based games, then this game is definitely for you. Number 5. Kirby and the Forgotten Land This is the next new Kirby from Nintendo. The Kirby games have always been a little bit of a mixed bag, but this is not the case with this new entry. This has made quite a leap and has become enormous and ambitious. This story follows Kirby as he and the Wallabies were sucked into the black hole and wake up in a strange new world. And now Kirby must rescue the Wallabies that are being captured by the bad guys. This is the Kirby version of Super Mario Odyssey that lets you upgrade powers, rebuild a town for the Wallabies, and the most important one that is that Kirby eats stuff to get power, which we all know that, but now it takes it on a whole other level where new abilities come in place. For now, you can swallow a car and become a car or swallow a vending machine and shoot cans. It is a fun experience through and through and it will leave you with a smile throughout the entire journey. I highly recommend you get this game for the Nintendo Switch. Number 4. Ghostwire Tokyo From the creators of The Evil Within, Tango Gameworks made a new fantastic action horror game called Ghostwire Tokyo, where essentially everyone who existed in Tokyo all of a sudden disappears. You play as Akito, a man who died but comes back to life thanks to this spirit called KK, and they must make an uneasy alliance and work together to save Tokyo. You, alongside your ghost partner, must now roam around the city to try to save everyone and you'll encounter monsters like giant slender people, beheaded students, ladies with giant scissors that want to kill you. This evokes a sense of abject terror that has not been seen in a long time. The fighting style in this game is fun as hell, with hand movements and magic powers, sort of like a Doctor Strange style combat. The story in this game is also fantastic, and I did get emotional in the end of the story, it really touches your heart. I highly recommend you check this out, it is an incredible and unique experience. Number 3, Sifu If you really enjoy martial arts movies, then this game is definitely for you. Sifu is a combination of old kung fu movies put together in an incredible gameplay experience. This story follows our main protagonist, who you can choose to be a male or a female, who witnesses the death of the father by the hands of the bad guys. Now years later, the protagonist tries to locate each of these people who murdered the father for revenge. Now, this has one different thing that adds in the Lord of Sifu, where if the protagonist dies, doesn't stay dead, but comes back to life, but gets older, and the more older the protagonist gets, the more punishing the game is. This is a game where you have to be very, very careful. It is a very hard and challenging game that makes you think carefully of all your moves, because if the protagonist reaches age 80, then it's officially over. This is a very fast and very fierce martial arts action game. It has that constant risk and reward while thinking on your moves when you're surrounded. The game also has some decision making that will have actual consequences in the end. So be very careful with that. I highly recommend you play this game if you love the challenges of martial arts. Number 2. Horizon Forbidden West The sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, the first game was already strong with this unique concept of returning to the roots of primal times with robots and technologies mixed in it. This story continues from Horizon Zero Dawn as Aloy and her companions must go to the Forbidden West to be able to find Gaia and find the answers to the mysterious plague that kills everything that infects, while facing a new kind of threat with much more advanced technology. The developers took a few things that felt weakened and cranked it up to 11. This game has some of the most realistic and most beautiful graphics in gaming history by far. The characters look and feel more natural, villages give you more reasons to explore around with many side quests and minigames, you'll be exploring territories from deep deserts to snowy plains and many more. The combat feels better and tighter than ever and there are new enemies which have incredible level designs that will bring new challenges for newcomers and veteran players. 
you can hack robots and have them temporarily as your pets, have them fight for you, and you can also glide around these beautiful lands. Also, a new thing was added as well, swimming underwater. Although you never fight underwater, you do get to solve some interesting puzzles. The story in this game also adds more sci-fi lore in it that is fantastic and unique, and I highly recommend you check this game out. Before we reveal our number one obvious pick, here are some few honorable mentions. Number 1. Elden Ring Yeah, it's no surprise to anyone, but what can I say? This game, right from the get-go, was destined to be Game of the Year by far, and it truly shows. This story follows your creative character as they initially begin as something called meaningless, in a world of monsters and demigods, all struggling for the control over the land. The game has excellent world building, new type of classes to choose, excellent combat, excellent level design, and as every from software game, it is tough as hell, but totally worth every moment when you get that victory. It is built on the central concept that you as a player must fight smarter and not necessarily harder. This is also the first game that is fully open world, where you can choose what you wish to do first without having to have that restriction of being free around the world. Many gamers praise this game and have put many hours in this game and continue to keep on playing more and more. I highly recommend you to play it for yourself. Trust me, it will definitely be worth your time. And that's our list. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and opinions. And if there was a game that came out in 2022 that wasn't on this list, let me know in the comments down below. I would like to check it out as well. Maybe I haven't heard of it or maybe I just did, but I didn't get to check it out either way. And also, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you really did enjoy it, be sure to drop the like button, subscribe, and leave your comments. And that's pretty much it. We'll be seeing you on the next one. Goodbye, guys.